Hey guys, uh, hello and welcome to my latest Ableton Live 9 Lite tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do, how to make a remix from stems. I usually make a remix from MIDI, but I downloaded some stems. Um, it's quite, it's a bit harder way to make a remix with stems because you got to uh, warp them and I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. You got to stretch them out. <clears throat> fit them to the tempo you want to make the remix at and mine's usually hard style so I usually have to do a lot of tempo changes but it's usually pretty worth it and it's always a bit of fun to do a remix so I've got the stems for Will Sparks and Other Land there's currently a remix competition going for that um, I'll, tr I, I'll try and leave a link to the stems in the description uh, they're they're for free anyway, so I mean you can probably just Google and still find them. But um, I'll leave a link and yeah, maybe try making a remix of this. It's a good track. So I've dragged and dropped all the stems in. Just going through them now. As you can see, my tempo is at 120 in the corner, but this song still going at its normal tempo that's that's because when uh, you load something in preferences when you load um uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, there's short samples which you'll notice won't be stretched uh, will be stretched to fit with your tempo because they're short samples but long samples like this one uh, aren't stretched because Ableton can't really they, they can't it can't do it it can't stretch it right so little short samples can stretch it, but Ableton won't. As you can see now, I just changed the tempo and it stretched it out. So it's still going to be the normal speed. So now we're going to go in here, double click it, click warp. That'll bring, make it editable in this window. And the drums will be easy. I noticed four claps on each of the quarter beats one clap on each of the quarter beats totaling four um, so I'm just going to drag them onto the quarter beats and that'll warp it right I'm not going to warp the whole drum track because if you wanted to warp the whole drum track you could but for the drums I wouldn't recommend it I would probably just warp a few bits that you like and then take the loops like I'm doing right now because I'm short tutorials I'm gonna chop it chop the loop I made so you just click it there and press ctrl E that'll cut it just loop it See, everything else is still way out of time. And everything else is going to be a lot harder to warp. <clears throat> so I'm just going to give it a try, see how I go. These little arrows here, little grey arrows are the Ableton, where Ableton thinks a warp point should be. They're usually pretty close. I mean, I'd go right, if I was doing it myself, I'd go for an actual remix, I'd go right in and um, find the exact point. But for now I'm low on time, so this will just have to do. Seem to fit in. I think we need to play with the effects, that's sort of just the shh sound. I need to mess with this one a bit. I'm not going to do the whole riser build up with this. Just going to do the little stabs and make a loop. So 
can imagine it'd be pretty strenuous, pretty boring work doing all this for a remix. That's all right. I'm doing all this for a remix, messing with all these stems. It's pretty hard work. Like I said, I usually download a MIDI file and use that. It gives you actually quite a bit more control. But you don't usually get you don't get everything, so you usually get the main melody line in the drop. You won't get any of the build up or any of the other melodies that might be in it. It's just the main one. We are gonna warp this little thing and make another loop out of this. This one will be a bit more difficult, I think. Yeah, this one's quite a difficult one. I'm gonna try. Probably gonna try making a loop somewhere else. It's just a bit choppy, I mean, it's not too bad. Probably crossfade it. Yes, I'm going to see if I can make a loop out of this bit here. No, not really quite right, but I think it'll, it'll do. It's showing how you warp anyway, which is the main thing. How you warp clips. And there we have it. Sort of increase the tempo of uh, Another Land by Will Sparks. Um, yeah. I mean, you can usually play around with it, like, I only showed warping, but of course you could cut out samples, cut bits and pieces, recombine them, and do a whole lot of other, other, other stuff with it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it helped, it's pretty basic, just showing some how to, how to warp in a remix sort of setting. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial pretty soon about how I would go about making a remix uh, with using the MIDI files as I've mentioned a few times. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if it did help you. And thank you for watching.